What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoon and today I'm going to show you how to draw a plus size person. So as you can see I got the face and the body guidelines that we'll need for this video. Um, the face I'm not going to really discuss because this video is mainly on the body. So I'm just going to focus today's video on the body and not so much of the face. But if you do want to learn how to draw the face, I made videos on how to draw the face shape, face at a center view, face at a three quarter view, and whatever other ones that I can't name right now. So yeah, links to those videos will be in the description down below, and there will be a link to one of those videos popping up in the card right here. But anyways, let's get to drawing the body. But to start off, we're gonna work from the torso and work down, so let's do it. All right, so as you can see, I got a hip and shoulder kind of pose going on, and the whole figure looks like a stick figure, and that's what I call guidelines, because I have this figure at a certain pose, and that's what I'm gonna use for this video. So to start off, we're gonna draw a woman, by the way. So we're going to start off sort of up here, like see where this joint is, the shoulder? We're going to start off up here, we're going to draw the breasts. And draw another one right here. Okay. And we're going to curve inwards, still matching the direction of this line. And this part of the body will kind of be creased because, and as you can see, this um, portion of this pose is kind of more stretched compared to this side. So it's going to look as if it's kind of squished. So that's what the body is going to kind of look like. So we're going to stop here. We're going to get rid of this line. We can come from here and go around the hip and then make our way towards the knee. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Make sure we can curve around because this is a plus size person. We can go around the hip and make it as big as however we want. So again, work around the hip and come just before the knee. It's still gonna it's still gonna be considered the knee, but again, this is a plus size person. Okay, and then right in the center, that's gonna be the crotch. That's all I wanna say. And then we're gonna come off of the crotch and match the direction of this line here. So that way. So that way this line works with the direction that we have everything else, if that makes sense. Now we can come even lower and again matching the shape of this guideline. And when you're drawing legs, they kind of taper in the end. What I mean by that is when you come off of the knee, you're going to want to go towards the foot. And that's what we're going to do. Um, and we're going to do the same thing coming from here. But except this is where the calf muscle is going to be, so it's going to be sort of a curve here. And then we can just sketch in the foot really quickly. And see, as you can see, compared to the size of the thigh that's up here, the width of this ankle is completely different. That's what I mean by tapering, because it gets shorter going down, okay? And then we're gonna work the same way with this leg, but at this position, we can make this part of the leg straight. And then again, with the calf muscle, we can kind of curve it in. And then sketching the foot really fast. And then let's add some details to the legs. So right here where the knee is, I'm gonna erase that portion really quickly. And then I'm just gonna sketch in like a small kneecap. Also one right here too. And then maybe add like a small curve and see what that does. And see, that kind of works for the drawing. So let me zoom back out so you guys can see what I got so far. So that's pretty much the body already drawn. All that's pretty much left to all that's left to do is the arms. So let me so let's come back up here to the arms. 
So we're going to come off of the neck. Sorry. We're going to come off of the neck. And we're going to include the same curves that we would do for the legs, except the mechanics are except the mechanics are a little bit different. But we're not going to talk about that. So the curves of the arm, the way I like to draw them. And then it comes off of the hip. And then I can just make a small hand movement up here. And then let's move to the other side. So it's gonna be a little bit different, this hand movement, but this is specifically about the body. It's just something extra that we can add. So again, we can start off at the top where the neck is. We're gonna curve up for the shoulder. And then include the same curves for the arm while also following the direction of this guideline here. in the building nigga. All right, and that's how you draw a plus size person. So if you liked the video and you found it useful, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.